here bring you another boom beach video in today's video guys uh we're gonna be talking about how you can use the tribals tribes the tribes to get you more power power now, now you might be thinking chicken that's just a load of hogwash but there's actually some facts behind it guys so we're gonna be taking on dr terrence today guys and i'm not sure what troop combination um we should be using if there's any like kind of crazy um not crazy, but if there's any different troop combinations you guys want to see me use in videos, definitely drop uh, drop that down below in the comments. Um, I'm never sure if Zookas are always the most exciting. It's probably the most fun for me, but I don't know. Um, but anyways, guys, let's get into the important stuff. So, how you can use the tribes to get more power powder. So, the first, the easiest thing right off the bat is, if you look at the tribes, especially for this week, they're basically giving us free masterpieces for damage, health, um, resource reward, gunboat energy, defense building damage, and uh, defensive building health. Um, or just building health, excuse me. Um, so it's, they're basically free statues. So you don't need to boost as much uh, over this tribal period. So there, you're going to save some power powder there. Like, think of it this way. I have 200 GBE when I fully um, boost up all my GBE statues right now. And sure, on operation attacks that are really difficult, like, yeah, you can absolutely use 200 GBE. And, um, and that's just going to do nothing but benefit you and the attack and your task force and all that good stuff. But... Um, you don't necessarily need 200 GBE for every attack. Like, say, um, like you, you can go ahead and boost less and get more uh, GBE, or you can boost less damage, you can boost less health, whatever it may be, and you can make that up, um, and you can make up that difference by saving a little extra power powder for the next week. I know we probably should have made a video on this when the tribes first came out, but uh, we didn't, so we'll talk about it now. But it's still something that we can take advantage of. I mean, we still have the tribes for, what, a week at this point? So it's not like that's not a, a long period of time or anything. So we'll go ahead and we'll launch out the critters like this. And some other ways um, some other ways to, to, to help the tribes gain more power powder is uh, try to attack a lot more uh, during this period while we have the, the extra tribe boost, guys. Ob th like, this one's kind of obvious uh, too, I guess. But... Um, just the fact that we're so much stronger now, unboosted, um, it, it just makes a world of difference. Like, you see the chicken was able to get a Callisto solo, uh, we were able to get up over a thousand victory points, and I wouldn't attribute that 100% to the, the tri boost themselves, but it's definitely played a factor. I mean, I'd be lying if I said attacking was, um, like, the bases were just as hard with all these boosts and stuff, so... Uh, definitely, uh, the message I guess to take away is to try to take advantage of what time you have left, um, and you can do that by being more active. Um, another, one of the biggest things for, uh, getting more power powder, especially after all these updates, uh, especially after the tribal update, the biggest thing is honestly endless reserves. Endless reserves, we're going to throw another plug in here, guys, but endless reserves is fantastic because it allows you to attack as frequently as you want. Um, and you can just, you can kill, you can crush, you can defeat that many more player bases and you're going to get that many more power stones. Um, since Endless Reserves, since I subscribed to Endless Reserves, I wasn't a super crazy active player, and I don't consider myself to have, like, amazing Boom Beach skills or anything, like, for some reason it might be obvious, but, um, I'm, like, I can't, I can't stay on top of my power powder anymore, I cannot keep making, I cannot keep up with the statues that I'm making, like, I, I, I don't think that I've, since, like, two weeks past the update, I don't think there's been one point where I've been completely caught up on all my, uh, all my, uh, what do you call them, shards. Um, you see, uh, there's just always this, uh, there's always this talk about it. Like, look, I have 146 blue shards, and I'm trying to get rid of them as fast as I can. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely been a major, major improvement, guys. So, if you can take advantage of that, definitely try to do that. Um, because we're gonna miss it for sure once it's gone, guys. Now, I don't know why I put smokes down on the beach, but, uh, thankfully, it is GB tribal boost time still. So, um... Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get all the Zookas up like this. And then we're just going to kind of come up into this area over here. And I think that's going to be a good kind of kill zone for the Zookas to sit into. Um, now, the Chicken has two job interviews tomorrow, guys. So I'm very excited uh, about that. I think the Chicken's pretty well prepared. And yeah, so leave a good luck tomorrow. Or by, by this time comes out. Leave a good luck Chicken down below in the comments, guys. That would be, that would be a nice thing to do. Or... Tell the chicken you hope he has a chicken fail in the mi middle of the interview. I don't know. It's up to you. You're the viewer. Uh, you can say and do as you please. So we'll go ahead and we will two shot to stage five and get that out of the way. And yeah, so I don't know. I was kind of thinking of what to make a video on today. And 
I was thinking about um, like looking at all my stats and stuff, and it, like I had to do something about these like this insane amount of power stones that I've been able to to kind of farm up here. Like it's just it's really been crazy. If you haven't got endless reserves, I highly, highly, highly recommend it, especially if you're a task force oriented player and you mainly play the game to take advantage of operations and stuff. Um, even if you just do it for a little bit, I think you can still. Um, now, obviously, if you're crushing bases left and right without having to retry or reload or whatever, then hats off to you. But I think more for, like, the average player, like Chicken, um, it's definitely something that should be taken advantage of uh, when you can. Like, it makes a massive difference for me um, in terms of just being able to clear, like, my whole map in, in one session and, and everything like that. Um, it's not as frustrating having to log off and like sometimes if, if like uh, before when I would have to wait I would just get sick of waiting eventually and then just end up not clearing my map or like going and doing something else or whatever right so um, So yeah, very interested to hear what you guys think of that down below in the comments as always guys um, We'll get brick going up like this. We'll get some critters out like that uh, We'll go we'll just medkit for the win. I know this machine gun is right on top of us here But uh, there's actually quite a bit of zookas in that no fire zone of the machine gun if you zoom in on that uh, that's something that has I've I've honestly seen. Uh, it's helped it's helped the chicken out a lot. Um, there's a nice big fat crystal right in your face, guys. Um, it, but yeah, it's helped the chicken out a lot. Not on um, actually there was one operation base I believe it was on Commodore. Uh, I was coming around the corner of a machine gun and I gapped the smokes. So I was like, oh my god! But then it was like I was in the no fire zone, right? I just forgot that it existed now. So stage seven, guys. Stage seven, an interesting one today. Um, let's go ahead. Let's use a couple of barrages. Uh, let's clean out these mortars, and I think that's going to be a, a good area for the Zookas to sit, because when you're using Zookas, um, whenever you can get up close against a wall, or even better, a corner, um, actually, if we do that, that might be the easiest way to do it, honestly. I think we might we might just be able to go like this, because I don't see any rocket launchers here on the on the right. Now, we might have to flare... Um, we I'm just going to sacrifice those Zookas there. We didn't need them anyways. I mean, we're just showing off at that point. Um, but let's go, let's flare up like this next. Okay, we can, that's not going to get a good value, but, um, we're going to be able to just hug this wall for the most part. And, um, I think we're going to be able to get down right into that corner, like we were saying. And then those two rockets at the bottom are going to be completely, um, negated by the fact that we're so close to them. So we can go something like this, get a nice wide double smoke across. Let's actually flare right in the back here in this corner, guys. And then we're only going to really need, like, one shock and a critter. So, if you have the GBE to get back here definitely do that guys uh so we'll throw a couple shocks out like this we'll just splash some medkits down for the win uh those critters should distract those mortars and we are going to plow through today's doctor uh, dr terrence stage seven guys stage seven goes down wreck back back so big shout out to the commentary today that's gonna be josh vanguard guys as always big shout out to josh uh, so yeah let me know what you guys think of uh taking advantage of the tribe to get more power powder uh do you think there's better ways do you think there's worse ways um, do you think endless reserves? Here's a better question. Those are stupid questions. Here's a better question guys Do you think endless reserves is worth it? Um to run like the entire year or do you think you can get pretty good value out of just running it like one or two months at a time? So let me know that down below in the comments guys. That's gonna wrap up the video today Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you in the next one guys Check it out